If you want to update firmware on Lumix series camera or lens, you are in the right place. I'm Joe and I will take you through the whole updating process step by step. So sit back, relax and I'm sure by the end you will be updating firmware with confidence too. For this video I'm using my Lumix S5, but the process is exactly the same for any Lumix S series camera or lens. Just follow the same steps and make sure to select the right camera model on Lumix website. Your questions are welcome, feel free to ask anything about updating in the comments below. And one important thing, if you want to update your lens, update camera first. Alright, let's see if there's a new firmware. Just open Google and search for Lumix Global. Scroll down to the support section and click customer support. You will be redirected to the Panasonic support page. Click Downloads and select Full Frame System. I've put direct link in the description for you. Here you can see actual version for your camera. Now let's check what version is currently installed in my camera. Hit Menu, go to the Spanner, then Spanner with three dots and Firmware version. My S5 definitely need an update, let's prepare the SD card. I personally like to format it directly in camera, but remember, this will erase all your data. Please back up your files before we start. In menu go back to the spanner menu, card file menu, card format, choose card you want to format and confirm yes. Take SD card out of your camera and pop it to your computer. Now it's time to download firmware. Go back to the Lumix website, here, find your camera model and click to download link. If your model isn't listed here, there's no available update for your model right now. Click download, confirm, license agreement and choose directory where you want save firmware. Once the download is finished, go ahead and unzip your file. Right click, extract all. Extract this will give you bin file. Now the next step is to move this bin file onto your SD card. Ctrl C, open your SD card, Ctrl V. Make sure it's not inside any folder. And here's a crucial thing to keep in mind. Don't keep more than one firmware file on the SD card. Put the SD card back into the camera and open the firmware version menu. Before proceeding, make sure your battery is fully charged and if you are using battery grip, please take it off. Now you can hit firmware update and then press left arrow and confirm yes. Update can take about 3 to 5 minutes. It is important that you don't turn off your camera or touch any button. Once the firmware update is completed, camera will automatically turn off and then on. Don't panic, it's absolutely normal. My S5 is ready now. Finally, let's check the firmware version. Enjoy new functions and if this helps, hit like, subscribe and just grab your skills in the next one.